Doctor Who, The War Games Episode 8 Syriac Landing Bay The Syriac Mirror trailblazes with a guard to go chief carrying a machine. The doctor comes out to face a felix of armed guards. Doctor, oh, don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. Doctor is taken away. Smythe's room. Carl says, we should have been prepared for it. Jamie, it's no good talking about it. We should, what we should have done. Zoe, can you work that, that stuff and get another one of those things to arrive here? Russell, not in your life. You call one of those things, it'll be full of guards. It may have sent one anyway. Carl says, Sergeant, you got any explosives? Cost Russell lot, lots of dynamite, sir. Cos is right. We'll put some here where the thing lands. Sorry, but if you blow this place up, you destroy the time barrier equipment, then it's, their troops will be able to get in. Russell, yes, she's right, but we'll keep the place guarded. You get a machine gun and set it up here. Right, come on, Jamie. They're all very well. That's all very well, but it's not going to get the doctor back, is it? War room, security chief, the prisoner. It's a security room awaiting interrogation. Warlord, good. A very successful venture. Congratulations. Security chief, thank you. Warlord, give it to the scientists. He will return to the home planet and have a mass produced war chief. Security chief, real well. Security chief leaves the mid mind washing machine. No, leaves the mind washing machine. War chief. Interrogation for the resistance leader might prove difficult. Warlord, why? War chief is obviously a man of substantial intelligence. You need special treatment. Warlord, then you must see he gets it, haven't, wasn't you? War chief, I will. Security section. The security chief using his mind reading machine on the doctor. Security chief, answer me. You must answer. Admit that the war chief sent you here. You are both the same race. Your rival here is part of the plot. Betray us to the Time Lord's answer. Doctor sits still and to the chief turns to, up attentively. Security chief, you'll answer me now or destroy your mind totally. It's my dream. Russell and two Americans set up a machine gun. Miss Russell, right lads. Now let's see what this place is got at all times. British command post. Russell, machine gun set up, sir. Carl says, fine. Jimmy, I maybe now we can do something about getting the doctor back. Russell, I've got more than your, I've got more than your friend the doctor to worry about, lad. Jamie, now look, you must, we can't just leave him, you know. Russell, if there's any other way of helping him, I would. Sorry, we might, must carry out the doctor's plan. That's the best way we can help him. Carl says, how far did you two get to contacting the other resistance groups? Russell, not far, sir. The other attack on this place has got in the way. Carl says, yeah, sorry. We send our guards to contact the other resistance groups, the ones we couldn't reach. Russell, can you remember their names? Zoe, yes. There's Marcus Octilius for the Roman zone, Afrilo Vela for the Civilian Civil War zone, and Avon Perovkarov for the Caribbean War zone. Russell, yes, right. All right, I believe you. Zoe, I can remember all the locations of, of, of all the camps too. Russell, Ultra Vita. Now he's the one who we got to convince. Jamie, Ultra Vita. Well, what's so special about him? Russell, he's got one of the biggest resistance groups I know about. Ben, it's most of them. The Surat is materializing. Smiles with Russell. Right, lads. Now don't fire until the door opens. The door opens and the guard let comes out. Russell fired. The machine gun is aimed directly at the opening. The guards get get back in safely and the door closes. Russell, hold it. Door opens again. The gunners have failed by a weapon. Russell manages to get out of the way in the time car says enters. Russell, get back. Russell takes the machine gun, but Carl says, goes to the side of Syriac, tosses a grenade in for the open door. Boom. Syriac dematerializes, smoke still curling from it. Russell, well, didn't try that again. They won't try that again in a hurry. Carl says, soldiers, get him out of here. So I didn't get another machine gunner. British command post. Jamie, what happened? Russell, it's all right. Panic's over, Zoe. You better get it. 
get in a hurry. You better get in a hurry with those resistant names. If I, if I were, if you would, Jamie, Jamie, right, Jamie, what's going to happen? Going to, do, what are you going to do, Russell? We've got to round them up. Get them here for a meeting, Jamie. Oh, let's go then, Russell. Not you, Jamie. Jamie, huh? Russell, someone's got to be in charge here. Jamie, me? Russell, yes, lad, you. Security room, section. The interrogation is getting un- nowhere. Security chief, admit it, the war chief sent for you. And the volume in your mind will last oh, for 15 minutes, 30 if you're lucky. Now admit that the war chief sent you. War chief, are you trying to kill him? Security chief turns the probe uh, off the probe. Dr. Relaxed, security chief, I'm trying to get the truth out of him, war chief. You'll never make him talk that way. You're a security chief. Are you, you are very sure, security chief. War chief, he's of one of my own race. Your truth machine cannot work on us. It's if we choose to resist. War chief, you admit that then you know, do know him. War chief, of course I do. Only he can, I can deal with him. Release him. Security chief, he's in, he's my prisoner. War chief, but I am your superior. The security chief releases the doctor. Rits from the chair. War chief, you and I are going to talk alone, doctor. I have nothing to say to you. War chief, we shall see guards. Take this prisoner to the war room. The doctor is taken out. Well, security chief, you have no right to interrupt my interrogation. War chief, your interrogation has been completely unsuccessful. I have methods of my own. War chief leads. Security chief goes to the uh, control desk. Well, security chief, I must, must, I want to speak to warlord on the top security channel, war room, war chief. See, I'm not interrupted. You are also outside, war technicians leave, war chief. You may have, ch- you may have changed your appearance, but I know who you are. Doctor, oh, do you? War chief, your machine is a TARDIS. You're too familiar with its controls to be a stranger. Doctor, I have very right to de- I have every right to leave, War Chief. Seeing the TARDIS? Oh, I'm not criticizing you. We're two of a kind. Dutta? We certainly are not. War Chief, we're both Time Lords. We both decided to leave our race. Dutta, I had reasons of my own. War Chief, just as I did. Doctor, your reasons are only too obvious power. War Chief, how much have you learnt from our plans? Doctor, I know that you've been kidnapped soldiers from Earth from various times in history and bringing them here to kill one another. War Chief, no objective can justify it. War Chief, but do you realise our ultimate objectives? Well, Doctor, no objective can justify each slaughter. War Chief, the war games on this planet are simple by the means to an end. The end is a right to conquer. It's in the conquer the entire galaxy, a thousand inhabited worlds. Doctor, Yes, but why choose that people on Earth, of Earth? War Chief, the most suitable recruits for our arrivals. Man is the most vicious species of all. Dada Will, that certainly isn't true. War Chief, consider this their history. For half a million years, we've been, you've been simultaneously, medically killing each other. Now we can turn the strategy to more some awesome purpose. We're bringing peace to the galaxy. You can help. You see, I'm not a cold-hearted villain. You supposed me to be my novices. Were purely playful. My motives are, mo- are purely peaceful. British command post. Sorry, has fallen asleep at the desk. So Jamie puts her coat over her shoulders. I leave quietly. The armed guards are also dozing off. Then one gets hit over the head. The other with a barrel, rifle barrel, pushing his chest. Zoe? Jamie, what? Valia, you mustn't, don't speak, make a word. Noise, understand? This is Russell. He's a barrister. Where is he? Zoe, who are you? Valia, I was Trovilla. Sorry. Well, why didn't you tell us you were coming? Villa, traps are for animals to fall into. Hey, get that man, Russell. And no tricks. My men surround his place. Sorry. Well, I think you might at least have a... Villa, women should not think for some such a little woman. Your mouth is too big. Get Russell. Smy's room. 
Jamie's asleep in the cot bed. Zoe, Jamie, Zo- Jamie, what? Jamie, what, has something happened? Sorry, I say it has. Overthrow Villa arrived with all his, ba- his bandits. They surrounded the headquarters. Jamie, has he done? Has he now? Oh, I'll soon sold him out. So, Zoe, oh, Jamie, no. They shot you, they shoot you as soon as they look at you. Jamie, huh? I thought he was supposed to be on our side. Jamie, well, he is well, I mean, he will be, if we can speed him to join us. Jamie, well, didn't you explain to him? Jamie, yes, I tried to, but you didn't, wouldn't listen. He's rather primitive ideas about women knowing their place. Jamie, has he now? Oh, sounds a nice chap. Zoe, Jamie, this is no laughing matter. We've got to persuade him to stay here until Russell gets back. Sorry, well, look, I, if uh, he won't listen to you, then he's not going to. Sorry, no, not me, but quickly here. I've got an idea. Zoe, what are you doing? Jamie, Zoe, Jamie, come on. British command room post. Villa has hurried help to himself the food. Villa. Well, where is this Russell? Zoe, he's not here. Villa, then go. Zoe, wait, I think perhaps you'd better meet our other leader. Villa, who is this? Zoe, Jamie, our leader. Jamie Robert McCormick, wearing an office cap and two ammo belts across his chief. Jamie triggers in. Villa, salute. Jamie, ah, how do you do? Villa, do you call, so you call everyone together for this meeting? Huh? Why? Maybe you plan to take over my territory, huh? Villa, Jamie, oh no. It's nothing like that, no. Zoe, unity is strength. Jamie, unity is strength. Villa, and when you have strength, what do you do with it? Jamie, ah, do with it? Aye. Zoe, we attack the aliens that brought everyone here. Jamie, we attack them all together in false villa. You bring all the sisters together in one place? You know what happens? We rob and still kill each other. Sorry, you never win unless you work together. It's the only way, villa. Why do you let us, a woman speak for you? Jamie, well, why not? Only if, she, only if she's right, of course. Zoe and I am. Villa, we're always fighting small groups far apart. That's why, why they don't catch us. Jamie, I, that's why you're getting nowhere. Villa, we are free men. We do everything, anything we want to. So you are hunted fugitives. They pick you off one by one unless you join with us. It's the only way you will ever get home. Villa, home? No one can get away from this place. So oh, but they can. Villa, how? So the same way they came here. But, but first, we've got to defeat the people that run everything. They have a stronghold. Villa, I am heard. It's impossible to get in there. Zoe, well, we've been there, and we can try to get a big enough army together. I shall can take you there. Villa, all right. I stay for this meeting, but then we see. War room, war chief. We are soldiers of most of the major wars on the planet Earth. War, chi- war room, war chief. We have the soldiers of the most of the major wars on planet Earth. Well, the First World War, the war between Russia and Japan of 1905, 35 years, 30 years war. But why make them kill each other? War chief. How else can we find the most disciplined and courageous fighters? Dada, you have given these aliens our science and our knowledge to carry out this distinguished, disgusting plan, War Chief. We're going to bring a, bring a new order to the galaxy, one united kingdom, get, one united galactic empire. Doctor, an empire of slaves. With you as one of the rulers, War Chief. Doctor, this is also a matter of your own survival. Unless I can convince the warlord that you will help us. Alarm sound, the warlord and security for you enter the with guards. Warlord, what's this? Is the prisoner doing here? War Chief, I'm interrogating him. Warlord. You're interrogating him about guards? War Chief, I know, I know this man. He's fugitive for the warlords. Security Chief, oh, uh, is that, uh, as you are? War Chief, that's right, as I am. Warlord, did you bring him here? War Chief, no, he arrived by chance. Warlord. 
Did the time I send you, Doctor? No, well, Lord, have you informed them? To go to Chief, what? What? Well, Lord, have you informed them, well, Lord Chief? We dare not. He would betray him. Him, to your Chief, we have aligned himself with the resistance has organised them against us. You must die, well, Chief. No, he has agreed to help us destroy the resistance. He'll cooperate. He is also no alternative security chief. He could also be killed. Should be killed by now. You cannot trust him. Oh Lord, I, if he helps us destroy the resistance, it, if his life will be spared, security chief, war lord, war chief, I have decided to war chief. I hold you responsible for the success of the plan. Failure will mean death to both of you. War Lord, Security Chief, and the guards leave. Doctor, I never promised to help you. War Chief, but you will. You are no attentive, Doctor. But are you but to help people like like that to conquer the galaxy? War Chief, not people like that, people like us. I intend to take over the Supreme Galactic Ruler. You can make help me rule to rule if you cooperate. British Command Post Villa. I tell you, it's crazy. It'll never work, Russell. We don't know until we have tried it. We've never had all the resistance groups together before. Villa, you bring everyone together in one place. You know what happened. The enemy will go and pow. We are all killed, Bertroff. What he says makes sense. Alone, we annoy them a little together. We wipe them out. Doing exactly what the doctor says. Cause there's luck. We should get together. A large body of men. An armed discipline. Army dis- army, dis- arm disciplined. And then, only then, can we strike at the headquarters, Villa. How do we get there? Zoe can use one of their own time, space time machines, Villa. Ah, there's little boxes you talk about. Holding fans of men's fairy stories, Petrov. I've seen one. I've seen soldiers come out of them. Whole regiments, classes, you see. Senior Villa, we're not talking nonsense, Villa. These magic boxes. Where do we get one? Villa, Diary. There are only certain landing points in each time zone. There's a room over there. That's one of them. Villa. How can you get a whole army in there? Here. Uh, the place is round. It's hard enough to get one man at a time to get in. Cos says, yes, quite right. You must use one of the, the other places, Jamie. Well, what about the American barn where we met, met Mr. Russell? Cos says, yes, that's... Ah, uh, that's, that's here, points to the map. It's all right. Is it all right by everyone? Petrov. Kostutro, I know that place. Much forest. May easy to hide men. Kost says, we will agree then. Gather your groups here. We'll make a concerted attack on the enemy. And then we'll make a concerted attack on us. Without some, what if we make, Kost it, Villa, and what if we hit, hey, and what if we make a concerted attack on us, Carl says. Oh, he's going to make probably too busy for that. A military pair of resistance fighters sneak into a Roman tent and smashes the communications unit. Carl says, well, we agree then. We all gather our groups here and we make a conceited 
concerted attack on the enemy. Villain, what if we make him? Are you making a concerted, concerted back a, attack on us? Carl says he's going to be far too busy to do that. Military pair resistance riders sneak into the Roman tent and smash his communications unit. Roman zone one alarm sounds. Security chief failure communications unit in Roman zone. Send a technician to bear. Send a guard. British command post. Carl says right, good, right, carry on. That's the first one, Roman zone. Control units been completely destroyed. Zoe, I wonder if it'll work. Carl says, oh, it'll work all right. Next one's due in the Cumian War zone. It's due about now. The poor sentry gets jumped and dragged away. When a Mexican takes dynamite into the storeroom, he comes out again and roll, rolling a few wire, where if he's which his red coat companion fastens to the detonator and presses the plunger, kaboom, war room. Security chief, another communications failure, Korean war zone, send a squad of guards. Russell, command po- British command post, Russell, answers telephone. Hello, Russell. Carl says on telephone. Good, good, you, excellent. Yes, thank you very much, Carl, Russell, I see. Carl says, Roman zone, a technician, a guard arrived. Zoe, so that's the Roman zone then. Zoe, Jamie, technician, guard, there's only two men. Carl says they didn't re- they're not really worried yet. Russell, there, there they are, they are now. They'll, they'll just send a squad of guards to, they just sent a squad of guards to Korean, Korean, Korean war zone. So, oh good, that's that's more like it, Carl says. By the time we finish for them, it won't be God left in place. Time passes. Flags are out on the map of Rave Show, Russia, Japanese War, and Thirty Years War. So he makes a call. So he, good, Jimmy. Boa War Zone. Carl says, English Civil War Zone. Russell, yes, fine. Berlin Civil War Zone. They've sent ten guards there. They've, just, they've sent ten guards there. Carl says, right. Well, that seems to be right about it. Right time, right time for phase two. Video should be there by at the barn by now. Carry on, Sergeant Vessel, sir. Carl says, leaves. Russell, okay. We'll leave one by one and spread out. Barn. A soldier rushes in and goes straight into the video screen. He gets shot. A Mexican draws his pistol to shoot out the screen. Villain, no, not yet. Now we mate. War room. Security chief. It's a clear pattern. Send in his attacks. And all wars, time zones. War chief. You send guards to set every attack. Security chief. There are very few left to send, War Chief. That's exactly what they wanted. Have you any guards returned? Security Chief, no. War Chief, so you've left the base weakened. A possible mass attack. Warlord, is that true, Security Chief? I know that where the attacks is coming from. Communications unit was activated in the American Civil War Zone. Warlord, and how do you propose to deal with them? With your guards scattered all over the war zones. Security trees for no chum bomb. Warlord, that would wipe out the whole process of the humans. We would have to evacuate the planet, Warlord. The resistance of your army must be crushed once and for all. Security chief, so can you use a neutron bomb? Warlord, no. We shall attempt to make... Attempt to... To be rather more subtle than that, to the doctor, which will give you an ideal opportunity, prove your loyalty and save your life. Barn Carstairs, are you all the resistance groups here, Sergeant Russell? Yes, sir. I'm just doing something. Phil, are you hidden in the woods? So here, here we are, all in one place, a nice big target, Russell. Don't worry, won't be for long. As soon as we smash that thing, they send up one of their machines that will take it. Carl says, right, stand back. Carl says, about to shoot out the video screen. With a feeling of your face peers on it. Jamie, wait a minute, Dr. Monitor. Jamie? Zoe? Oh, Zoe, Doctor. Oh, Doctor, where are you? What? Are you right, Doctor? On Monitor. Is Master Russell there? 
Dr. Damien, I, all the resistance leaders are with us. Monitor, Dr. Monitor, oh good. Now there's no time to be lost. I think I can send you one of these space, one of those space machines. I managed to gain control of their transportation system. Sorry, we've got a whole army here, Doctor. We could take over the whole entire base, Doctor Monitor. I know, all I need is a party pick men. They're not, there's quite, there's quite a lot to organize. I have to talk to the leaders. Jamie, a doctor. Would it not be better if we brought a gang with us? Doctor Monitor, Jamie, please don't argue. I'll send transportation now. Transportation ends. Villa, I don't like this. It should be, it could be a trap. So now it materializes. Cause says, don't panic. There's nothing to worry about. Anyone, everybody take cover just in case there's some guards. Sarah, don't door. Opens and car says, checks inside. Car says, all right, it's empty. Russell, right now. One of us must stay here to look after these men. Petrov, I'd better be you. Petrov, all right. You're the boss. You are, but you are our boss. Villa, mine is the biggest group. I should stay here in charge. Russell, why are you scared of going into that thing? Oh, Villa, Arthur Villa is afraid of nothing. Russell, right. In you go then. Villa, I shall lead the way. Carstairs, Villa, Joey, Jamie, Russell went to the Syriac. Full of Russell and a couple of soldiers, it materializes. Syriac landing bay. Syriac materializes. Doctor, oh, Carstairs. Carstairs, Doctor. Doctor, Zoe. Zoe, oh, Doctor. Doctor, Jamie. Jamie, are you all right? Doctor, yes. Everything is under control. Now listen, everyone. Just follow me. We're going to take over the war room. Doctor, there's them two pieces of the room. The guards appear. The guards appear, Doctor. Stand still, don't move. You're completely surrounded. Doctor Zoe. Zoe, Doctor. What do you think, you, Doctor? A nice, nice little neat package for us to dispose of.